Hey guys, it's Trevor from Trace Movies, and a while back, I had the genius idea to make a video ranking every vehicle in the game jetpack joyride. I expected that video to do decently well, and here we are, 35,000 views later. So today, I thought I'd continue this with the game's sequel, and see how its vehicles stack up with the original game. So, a vehicle for this purpose is anything which appears on the Garage tab on the main menu. Just to preface this, one thing I hate about the game's vehicles compared to the original is that all vehicles are on a time limit, even in endless mode, regardless of whether you hit anything. Sure, you can upgrade these vehicles with blueprints to increase the timer, but it will still always be there. Also, the legendary Troy in editing here to say that I have not fully upgraded these vehicles. I was not going to sink the time into basically beating the game just to be a slightly bit more accurate for this video. I'm only saying this so the comments don't rose to me after this video comes out. All right, thank you, back to the video. But this intro is getting too long already, so let's get into it. Five, Wild Wild Rex. So this vehicle in truth isn't that bad, but something has to be last. Maybe I just suck, but I personally find this vehicle hard to use at first. Sometimes I use the dash move without even meaning to, smashing into the top of a cactus. And unlike other vehicles, it seems to be fully about dodging obstacles without any method of attack. Still, even with these flaws, you gain major distance by using it and it looks freaking sick. Old Western style. 4. Hamster Ball This vehicle has you bouncing around in a hamster ball while dodging robots, or stomping on them to kill something. It seems that with this vehicle you can stay on the floor for quite a while before needing to dodge something. Whether this is intentional, a bug, or just luck on my part, I don't know. It is quite frustrating at first, but man, once you get the hang of it, it is super satisfying to chain bounces on robots in that cute hamster theme. 3. Gravity Suit MK2 In the first game, the gravity suit was good, but in the sequel, it's great. The new design looks way cool and is functionally way different, adding spinning lasers to avoid and different paths to take with varying levels of speed. I'll also briefly mention the Gravity Race minigame, as the way it's used in that minigame is to collect clocks at high speed with only one life. An exhilarating experience to push the MK2 to its absolute limits. 2. Big Stomper Another returnee from the first game, but it's been way overhauled. In a good way! The Big Stomper is, movement-wise, the same as the original, but it's been given a hand cannon to shoot down robots in the meantime. Robots do spawn while using it, but in the Stomper, they won't be an issue. It's also worth noting that this vehicle is the first one you get, so, uh... Yeah, there's definitely no bias. Anyway, but before we finish off the video, I think it's time for some honorable mentions that didn't make it in the top five. Wait, there's only five vehicles. Wait, uh, um, uh, the the uh the, the honorable mention is uh you following, subscribing to this YouTube channel, and checking out the other video. Uh, but please, if you really support this channel, we are trying to grow really fast, and uh, be appreciative if you subscribe. Thank you. Anyway, number one, Galaxy Ship. The ship is clearly number one here, and I'm probably not alone in saying that. You can shoot down enemies or avoid them by holding up and down to move the ship. The controls are fluid, and the floating asteroids with coins orbiting them is a nice touch. And the best part? You can get S coins worth 10 coins by breaking open asteroids. This is an absolute madness that I only recently learned and is so useful for coin farming. So, how was my list? Comment your favorite vehicle and hey, make sure to subscribe because I might do ranking videos for other things in Jetpack Joyride too, like the upgrades or power ups, etc. So, yeah, make sure to stay subscribed so that you don't miss when those videos come out. Anyway, see you in the next one. Bye.